Hey there guys, this is Pratish here, back with a brand new video and this is my first face reveal video. So in this video, we are going to be making a simple GUI based YouTube downloader just inside Python. Now this will include a yield tutorial alongside with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We will attach them together and bind them together with Python to create this awesome looking GUI based YouTube downloader. Now these are in parts and chapters so all that are given in description and the code is also this time given in the description so you make sure to check them out. So with that being said let's get started. So let me just start up by showing you what we are creating today. Here is the basic application it is in executable format so double click on this and it open a nice little window here so you can see this window will pop up for some time because our program needs some loading here here you can see we have the application so let me minimize this thing here and here is our basic application this we are creating today so let me just open up here an uh, url so just give an url here out right there this I have copied from YouTube. You just have to take an URL and then just paste it here. Now you can see it got a nice polished front end in front of it. And we have this button over here that can help you to download the video. So just click on this download icon here. And this will take some time. Let me just show you what is going on here. So it will take some time and just create this analysis file. It will basically download the web page first. Then it will take the video from it and stream it and now we get the video. So it will basically take some time and it totally depend on the size of your video and the quality you are choosing. In our case we are creating a program that can result up to 4k video so but in this tutorial purpose I am just downloading an HD video of 1080p. So as you can see here we have just downloaded that file. So here is the file in 1080 format. So this is the basic tutorial which we are going to do here. Now this is really cool tutorial to follow along. So let's get started by coding the basic program so that we can download the YouTube video just using our Python code. Before getting started with coding, you just need Python installed on your system. You can do this by going to over here to download and then hitting this download icon. Now this is for Windows edition. For Mac OS or any other platform you can just refer here or here. Now after that been done you just need to install Python on your system. The second requirements is YouTube DL. Now this is a library which you can find on 5p library modules. Now here is the code so basically copy it and just paste it in your command promote and hit enter on your keyboard to install this. If you don't know how to install this kind of modules or libraries on your system then you can watch my previous video where I have covered all this technique in simpler way. For this tutorial we will be using this Atom text editor. Now this is the hackable text editor which I will be using in this complete programming course. So I am using this one because I need some live preview here. You can use sublime text editor in order to get live preview of what you are doing. For example I am just creating an html and css file and I can get the live preview just beside me which is really great and even though it's better than any other text editor. Now you can use obviously refer any other editor but I probably want this editor on my system so you can just install it you can hit the link below in the description it is given below or you can get into the basic github page of this atom to get it or any other source so you just keep it installed there is another text coder that is visual studio code this is for beginners and it will really help you in order to create functions and databases like that for example, you are writing a python code then it will help you really well because it gives you predefined definitions for yourself which you can use to fasten enough your task. This is great for beginners. So you can just refer this. You can hit download on a side here where you can just download it and after that being done you are just there. So with that being all set. Let's start right into the atom code in order to write the first program using the python. Okay so here we are inside our atom code. 
So basically we have this web folder which contains our image and our index file which we have the UI. I will show you that later. Let's create a new py file. So new file and here you have to name it. So for example we are creating a YouTube downloader so I will name it YouTube downloader dot py. Okay done. Now we got this nice looking thing. So I will just minimize this. Let's write some code. Basically, we are going to import for the future from the Unicode Sense library. To do this, just hit from future. And now we need to import the Unicode. So I will just name it as import and then Unicode. But we need the Unicode in the form of literals. So I will just write here literals. Okay, done. Now we need to import the IO. So basically I am importing IO. So I import and IO. Okay, so we need to first import the eel. Now eel is important to glue both of the file that we have here. So let me just show you once again. So we have this uh, HTML file that is index.html which contains this much of data. So we need to just fix it so that we can attach both the file this file with the python one. So we need to attach it with our python file that is here. So we need to attach this one with this youtube downloader.py file. So first of all we need eel for that. So basically here we need to import eel. Now if you have not installed eel then what you need to do is go here to your command promote and then go over here pip install eel. If you don't know that then you can watch my previous video where I have shown you how to install different packages. Okay let's import eel. Now as I have shown you that we have to import the youtube dl in order to convert the videos from youtube. So to do that I will just import youtube dl so write down import and then youtube dl youtube and make sure to give you an underscore here and dl right on there. Now we need to specify that where is our file basically it is here. So you make sure that you keep this thing above here. So just cut it from here simply cut or control command x on your keyboard and come over here and paste it i'll just show you so basically we need two files here the web folder and the spy file so what we need to do is just we need to specify the eel that where is our web file or where we have saved that html file to do that i will just write eel dot init as we write the init in case of python so let me show you what we write so in case of python to create a library we just write init dot py and uh, it automatically specify that uh, the file is there on the module so this is basic syntax here so same thing with the eel we need to write eel dot init in order to just specify that where our html file is or where our front end are now i need to specify the folder name so for example in this case we have the folder in the web directory which is over here so i will just write here web now if there is another name then you make sure to write that name in order to create that front end but make sure that your web directory is always inside the main folder or the parent folder so i will write web Okay, cool. Now we got all those code here. Now what we need to do is expose the function, but first we need to write the function. So to write a function, you already know that we have to define something. So def in order to pass in any argument here. So you can see that if there is any pass argument, then we have to write pass and there is the argument and there is a function name. So basically I'll write here in the function name, just write in yt download. And you can write anything for example if you write this kind of thing then it will also work but for uniformity I am just writing yt download. Okay we got this download. Now we need to pass some argument here 
if you don't know that how to write a function then you can learn something from here that here we have the argument and we have to fill that argument using our parameters now parameters are those things that we need to fill up for example if you have any input statement then the input will act as a parameter for this argument so let me take that argument into a data file now this is purely optional for you if you write something like uh, a b c or something like that if you write x and comma y then it will also work but for instance i'm just writing data because we need to pass some data here okay so we need to save the link from youtube right so we need to write a link variable here so link equals to so the link is here the data basically we are copying the data from the youtube as an url and pasting it over right here now i will write link equals to data okay just give data now we need to just create some options here so i will write another variable here that is ydl and then underscore o p p s i mean i'm just creating randomly something now make sure to give an curly braces here over here but it should be empty so like that somewhere like that now we need to create a loop over here so with youtube being open we need to download the link until that our client is giving the url we need to download it so what we need to do is with it means that we have some expression here let me show you that we have some expression here and then target and then what what the task it will do so this is it so with expression let me give the expression as youtube dl some kind of that so let me write a function from youtube dl youtube dot underscore dl dot now make sure that this should be capital letter so you and then again a tube dl and this should be in capital letter right down there and let's create the options here so basically we are passing this variable over right here so control c or command c on your keyboard in order to copy it and paste it over here now as we need to just uh, pass the variable as yd1 or l you can give any other name so i will choose ydl for instance and yeah it works now we need to write the inside of the loop so basically it will download the link so ydl now i can write this whole function but i will not write this whole function as a whole i will just make a shortcut of it that is ydl now i will write a function here to download the link so download basically just download and we have passing some link here now basically the link are in the form of list basically so i'll just show you what i'm talking about is basically these are in link so this is a link number one comma link number two there may be several links one after another so you can specify them but in our case we are just downloading a single link so i will type here link now this link directly refers to the data which we are importing through our program okay now we need to start the yield basically to start yield we need to define that which file it should start so we have this web directory here and we have this index.html which contains the whole program now we need to make sure that we should open it so to do that i will just come up here and let's write that it should open the index.html with a size so basically i will write here a python command that is yield dot start basically it will start which file you need to specify the file that is index.html and we need to then another argument is to specify the size so basically i will just type size equals to and we have to give the size for example in this case i will give 1000 and uh, comma 600 somewhat like that but we have not exposed this function right into our web directory to do that i need to write another code here that is at the rate yield now expose it will do is that it will just link this youtube downloader.py to the web directory 
Now let me show you what is inside the web directory. But first you need to save it. So control or command S on your keyboard in order to save this program. Let's move over to the main.js. Here we have the JavaScript for instance. I've written some code over here. It is not of the work. So let me just cut that and show you how it works. Basically we have created a function here that is YT YouTube and we have a variable data that document from the document we need to get element ID by using the data variable and this is in form of the value. Now we need to connect it through yield. So basically what you need to do is just write yield.yt download and data. You need to remember that this IT download refers directly to the YT download data that we have created in our YouTube downloader.py. Okay, now this will set it as image and it will send the data, this data to directly to our pi file that is directly to this data. It will link that file into our data and this can be only done by using eel. Okay. So we have that yield and here is the style file basically this is a CSS file so I'm not going to show it here and we got this nice looking file here so we have the value now and we have the element id as data you need to just copy all of these code from the description I have given the link in the description you can check it out so all you need to do is just copy all of these code from the description and now move over to the index.html we got this long HTML here. So let me show you where we have written that JavaScript. So first thing first, you need to just import the JavaScript here. So here are two things we need to specify that we need to script type text JavaScript and yield.js. We need to import it first. Now make sure that in every HTML you need this thing. So let me show you what is this HTML is going to look like. So control command H on your keyboard in order to have the preview. Here you can see we have the enter URL here and download and learn more. Now this is the complete package which we are getting here. You need to just specify some uh, URL here and uh, you need to just click this download. So basically this is the HTML file and I have to just import all of these things here. So we need to import the script and the main.js. Now one thing you need to write that you can see here we have a button right over here. And we need to just keep the data here that we have created in our Python file and we have the download button out right there. So how can we do that? We can achieve this by creating that input variable here. Basically this is the import tag where we have just imported that button. So on click it means that whenever we download the URL it will just pass this to yt function which we have created in the main.js file. So here is the function which we have created over right here and after that been done it will be submitted directly to our youtube.py okay so let me just show you where we have used that data you can see here we have that get element id by data so basically this is referring to the data element which are present here over right there in this text box so to do that you need to just specify that what is the id for example here that is id equals to data this refers to the directly to the data value that we are getting dot value means it will extract the value from this text box this refers to the data and it will send it directly to the youtube downloader dot pi and it will then convert the link and it will directly download the video file okay looks great we have all the program set up now these are all the things you need to mention here. So here is the preview you can see we have this nice looking icon here and the download icon and the learn more you can just uh, replace these URL links and SVGs all this kind of thing. So after that being done you can see we have this both of the file. So when you first time run this it will pop up a window and then it will run another file which is index.html in any browser. So this is it. Now let me show you how it looks like now. So here as you can see we have the local host file and YouTube downloader is loading here. And because it is opening in our browser it is taking some time as we have not created any package file or any exe out of it. So here is our application basically you can see directly. So now you need to enter some URL here and then hit download to download that. So this is simple application that we got. Outright there after writing this much of code. 
so this is it guys let me just open up the file here as you can see this is really of 15 lines of code and the javascript of around 4 lines of code and you can download this html in the description so all these things are there you can just open them all and run them all so you need to just define some function here basically you can just write some dummy functions in order to show your colleagues or whatever that is so here is the define function you can define as much function as you want and then we have to link it directly to our main.js and then index.html so this is it now i will show you how can you package your youtube downloader.fire file into an exe file or executable file in order to send it to your client or colleagues so we need to package our application in order to upload it so we can do so by installing a pip now hit here pip install and you will need pi installer for that so pi installer now this will basically need some internet so make sure that you have your internet connection on and hit enter now it will take some time and after some time it will install in your system so this is it so after going here you need to do is that hit shift on your keyboard and right mouse click and open powershell window here this will pop up a powershell here now we need to type some code out right there that should be python and we have defined an m here and we are attaching it by eel so eel now youtube downloader.py you make sure that whatever the name of your application there will be make sure to give that name here over right here now make sure that it is case sensitive so i will just give you youtube.py okay youtube downloader.py and make sure to define that where is our file are basically these are in web folder so i'm gonna give here web now this basically defines the html file and now we don't need no console and this must be in one file and now there is an optional feature here that you can set up the icon out right there this is the icon file it is an ico format for windows and icns for mac so what you need to do here is come on and go away a flag here that icon equals to icon.ico now this will basically make a file with this following setting here so now hit enter on your keyboard in order to get the installer and it will take you some time to get the installer so after that been done let me show you the final result so after some time you will get this executable file here which is youtube downloader.py by pratish mishra now you can just open it up and you can upload it to internet or send it to anyone you want now make sure these flags are not compulsory you can eliminate one of them and you can change the icon even though that is great even though so thank you guys for watching this video i hope this tutorial was really helpful for you in order to create real life gui based application just inside python and using eel now this was a sample project here and you can do this kind of lots of project for instance and you can send me in my profiles on twitter or anyone else so this was it guys Finally, I want to say thank you for watching this video and if you really consider supporting my hard work then consider subscribing and like the video for more. Goodbye, I will meet you on another video.